Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the commanding officer of Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 268, welcome to the relief and appointment ceremony where Sergeant Major Douglas M. Hester will be relieved by Sergeant Major Oscar X. Gomez. Today's ceremony is being executed by the Marines of Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 268. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Master Sergeant Michael A. Kelly. The parade adjutant is Staff Sergeant John M. Luna. Staff, on. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation given by Lieutenant Commander Buster L. Williams, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you today with grateful hearts for all of your blessings. Today we especially thank you for Sergeant Major Hester's faithful service at 268. We thank you for the time and energy that he poured into his Marines to make them better Marines. We thank you for his dedication to the unit, for his exemplary display of honor, courage, and commitment in everything he set out to do with Sergeant Major and these outstanding Marines. We thank you for the support he received from family, from friends, and from his fellow leaders at 268, and accomplishing every mission that he was given with excellence and enthusiasm. Grant now your blessing to him and his family during this time of transition as he hands the reins over to Sergeant Major Gomez. We also thank you for bringing Sergeant Major Gomez to the Red Dragons. Bless all of his efforts at serving and leading these terrific Marines. Continue to give him the strength of character to lead these Marines with honor, courage, and commitment. We thank you for blessing the Red Dragons with such a gifted leader. We ask your blessing on Sergeant Major Gomez and on the 268 family. We also especially ask your blessing on all those Marines deployed and those getting ready to deploy. Grant your mercy to their loved ones at home. And now we thank you again for this special occasion as we celebrate your goodness. We ask your blessings now on this ceremony. I pray in your holy name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Present day parades in the Marine Corps have their bases in both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle-loaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that, a line of two or three ranks and looked much like the parade formation you will see today. The adjutant forms the line for battle. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of our national anthem. You are reminded that if not in uniform, please place your right hand over your heart.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, now taking his position in the reviewing area is the commanding officer of Marine Medium Tilt Order Squadron 268, Lieutenant Colonel Patrick R. Robinson. Since 1875, non-commissioned and staff non-commissioned officers have carried the non-commissioned officer sword as a symbol of their ability and prestige as enlisted leaders of the Marine Corps. The Sergeant Major, as the senior enlisted leader and advisor, is the keeper of traditions for his or her unit. Today's emblematic passing of the sword of office signifies the transfer of this sacred trust from one Sergeant Major to another. From Commandant of the Marine Corps, to Sergeant Major Douglas M. Hester, effective 10-22 February 2018. You will stand attached from your duties as Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 268 Sergeant Major and are directed to report to Marine Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Squadron 3 for duty. Signed, Robert B. Neller, General, United States Marine Corps. Good morning, sir. Sergeant Major has reported the old survey. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major Oscar X. Gomez, effective 10 22 February 2018, you stand detached from your present command and are directed to report to Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 268 for duty as Squadron Sergeant Major. Signed, Robert B. Neller, General, United States Marine Corps. Good morning, sir. Sergeant Major Gomez reporting to you, Sergeant Major. Take your photo. Aye, sir.
Ladies and gentlemen, the commanding officer of Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron 268, Lieutenant Colonel Patrick R. Robinson. Aloha. What a wonderful day we have today. Thank you all for coming to the Red Dragon Relief and Appointment Ceremony today. Colonel Patton, Sergeant Major Cox, thank you for coming here today. I want to thank the band. Could you, we all have a round of applause for the band coming today. I'd like to thank all the Marines that uh, put this parade together, uh, especially the Red Dragons standing in front of you. Also, Sergeant Major, or Staff Sergeant Chambers, thanks for, uh, for all your assistance. This is a bittersweet day. Today, I'm very excited to welcome Sergeant Major Gomez to the Red Dragon family. Thank you. Uh, but it's going to be difficult to see Sergeant Major Hester go. So, Sergeant Major Hester has been here uh, from the start of the 268 squadron in Hawaii. He was one of the first uh, to come here. Um, during the squadron's relocation from California, I just take command, and uh, the COSR major relationship is a very important one, so I was concerned about what, what kind of team we we're gonna make, uh, but I, I've been pleasantly surprised. <clears throat> Sergeant Major, I think you'll, you'll agree, we're both extremely fortunate for the awesome Marines. We had the opportunity to lead here in Hawaii. Um, we basically had to build the squadron from the ground up here in Hawaii, and Sergeant Major has been a large part of the success we've had to date. He's been my right-hand man, my trusted confidant, mentor, and professional advisor through it all, and I constantly seek his advice on all matters, and he's always, always correct and for the situation, and he protects the integrity of the squadron and the Marine Corps, so thank you for that. Now, Sergeant Major is a grunt, um, but he's wearing air crew wings. <laughs> and he earned them last November. He completed the Aerial Observer Syllabus. And the Aerial Observer Syllabus is uh, demanding, both mentally and physically, but more importantly for someone like Sergeant Major, it's a significant time commitment. And that, uh, that is uh, what Sergeant Major is all about. He is willing to put in the time, he understands the squadron's mission, and is better able to relate to all the Marines in the squadron by actually getting his hands dirty and participating and doing what they do. So that's a small example of his total commitment to the Marines and the squadron. He has had an impact on all the Marines in the squadron in one way or another. His, uh, Approachable demeanor allows him to mentor officers and enlisted alike. Um, everybody seeks his counsel on all matters about leadership, fitness reports, upholding standards, and more importantly, he has earned the trust and respect of the Marines because he treats all Marines with dignity and respect. There have been a lot of firsts uh, over the past almost two years here in Hawaii. And bringing a, a squadron to Hawaii has had many highlights and struggles. Operating a new type of aircraft in Hawaii is, uh, has plenty of frustrating uh, points along the way, but it's also been fun and exciting. And you gotta admit, it's an amazing place to fly aircraft. Uh, we made history by flying aircraft to Australia and back. That's pretty amazing. And there have been many changes during our time together here. And I couldn't ask for a better start maker. So thank you for your leadership to the Red Dragons. It's been an absolute pleasure to serve with you. Joanne, thank you for being a positive influence on the squadron and fostering such a strong sense of belonging with the families. The Red Dragon Ohana is an inviting, cohesive group because of your energy and involvement. Mahalo, Semper Fidelis.
Thank you for those uh, kind words, sir. Uh, Colonel Pat, Sergeant Cox, fellow commanders, our majors, uh, fellow Marines, guests, thank you for coming. This is just outstanding. Really wanted to have this thing outside today. Uh, it looks like it probably would have been okay. But last week, these Marines here in front of you marched in the rain pretty much all last week. So I thought I'd keep them dry today for the most part. Uh, reason being, that these Marines you see in front of you are probably, in my 24 years of Marine Corps, the hardest work Marines I've ever seen. They put in day in, day out, and it's an unforgiving business for them because when aircraft are up, everybody's happy. When aircraft are down, nobody's happy. And it's unforgiving because it goes into a life cycle. They, they, they get them up, we fly them, they look great, we get the Marines trained, they come back, and they break them. I always tell the Marines, hey, it's the pilot's job to break them, your job to fix them. And our pilots do a damn good job of breaking them. All right, and these do get, guys do a great job of fixing them. So, uh, like the CO said, we got to, fly these Ospreys to Darwin last year, which is quite a feat. All right, and part of uh, what these Marines may, may or may not know is that they won the first green aircraft wing from a corporal board for DMM of the year. All right, so that, that's a significant uh, congratulations for them for everything they've done. And we just got to compete against uh, three more to see if we can get it for the whole, whole Marine Corps, which uh, I think our competition, I think we got it. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so, you got a round of applause for these Marines right here. Uh, like CO said, uh, I'm approachable by nature. It's just, just who I am. Uh, I do treat every Marine with dignity and respect from the privates all the way up to uh, Lieutenant Colonel. I, I believe in that aspect of leadership. Is you got to get down in the dirt with the Marines. you got to learn from them. I've learned everything from everybody in the squadron, and, and I've quite enjoyed it. Took an old grunt, threw some wings on me, and put me in an aircraft. All right, I, I got to say, the first time I flew, I was uh, I was quite nervous. I was with uh, Gunny McRae in the back of the ramp, and she took off, and I kind of got scooted back a little bit, tightened my gunner's belt a little bit tight. Uh, I was a little nervous, and he kind of laughed at me like, "Get up here!" Uh, but it, at the end of it, at the end of uh, flying all the time, it, it got second nature. And there's nothing better than flying around these Hawaiian islands. Uh, seeing all the, the beautiful cliffs off of Molokai and Hawaii and Lanai that really impressed me, but except for that boat that's sitting off the side there. But, uh, now he has a beautiful big island, it's too big. I right, enjoy flying around, I've seen a lot of those and everything. So it's been quite a, quite a tremendous experience for me to, to fly in these Ospreys and, and see what these crew chiefs do. And, and I always told the crew chiefs when I got in there, hey, treat me. I'm, I'm an aero observer, so you treat me like you treat any other aerial or right, they'll give me the sergeant major consideration. And they did that. They, they treated me like they would any Marine. They guided me. They showed me what I, what I needed to do. And I've always appreciated that. Uh, when I got here, I knew nothing about aviation other than what I heard on the ground side. Is those guys don't work. All right. And I know that to be not true experience in it. And I, and I sat down with Master Guns Burgess, our maintenance chief, uh, when I first got here. And he kind of walked me around, showed me everything. And uh, along with Mass Sergeant Kelly, our commander of troops, uh, Gunny Matthews, and the key guys right here when I got here, uh, were able to show me around, show me what the Marines do. And then once we got here in force, I was able to see everything that that these Marines do. And it, it is quite a feat. I, I don't know the statistics on maintenance to flight hours, but I know it's got to be significant. Because uh, we'll, we'll go from nine, ten planes up to two. All right, it drives Senator Colonel Robinson nuts. Cause you know, Carl Patton probably telling him one day, great job, and the next day he's like, two, what do you got? You know, so I know how it works in the aviation field now, and it's uh, it's interesting, but like I said, these, these Marines, uh, they kick ass every day, and, and I, I truly appreciate the opportunity to serve as their Sergeant Major. Uh, I, I've enjoyed every bit of my time here. It, it's kind of a sad day for me to go. I'm looking forward to the opportunity to go over to BMU-3 and serve those Marines as well, give them the same same kind of aspect I put in this unit over there. So, uh, tonight, if you're available, please join me at the staff club at 1600. Have a beer, soda with me, got some wings, and uh, enjoy our time. And uh, supper bell. All right. Good morning, commanders, sergeant majors, master gunner sergeants, marines, family, and friends. Uh, this is really not my time, so I made a history's time. So the only thing I want to say is, Marines of VMM, I look forward to serving you as your Sergeant Major and, and taking you to the next level. 
I've heard nothing about, but great things about what you do. And I look forward to seeing those things and learning from you and serving you as a Sergeant Major. Uh, Sergeant Major Hester and his wife, Joanne, uh, I really wish you the best. I know you're about to go to VMU and then soon after uh, on your retirement, I don't get to tell you that. Uh, but I really appreciate all those times when I had surgery and all that stuff that, that you guys came over and they're, they're, you were there for me. And I appreciate the friendship for the moment that I moved into that house. I really appreciate the time, uh, uh, the information that you have given me, and I look forward to hearing great things from you doing at BME3. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of Anchors Away in the Marine Tim and remain standing for the final dismissal. Take charge, carry the plane of the day. Aye, sir. What's up?